YouTube team The Ouija Brothers are exploring the haunted whale's house in this scary short, and they call this the scariest moment of their lives. They start to feel something right away. Now, this is meant to be one of the most haunted pubs in Wales. And I will say I'm on edge. It feels like something's going to happen. When they ask the spirit a question, something moves. Do you want to hurt my friend Stephen? There's got to be someone here. Whoa! The door just moved. The door moved ridiculously. One of them goes to check it out, and they're met with terror. Oh, I don't feel nice up here. Hello? Oh, it's time to leave. Now I'm, out. I'm pretty sure the whale's house doesn't want them there, or if it does, it welcomes them to the other side. Two people are heading down the road when a third person looks right at them and steps in their path. Watch this part and you can see that he clearly waits for them to get close and does this on purpose. But here's where things get really strange. According to the uploader, when he turned around, the man was completely gone. He called the police and they had no luck finding him either. Could this have been a spirit doomed to repeat its last moments on Earth? Derek Desso Daly finds himself in a darkened cemetery on a 24-hour challenge with some friends. There's only some basic snacks and a small flashlight to split between the three of them, but they feel confident nothing serious will happen. Derek barely gets into the cemetery, and already he hears strange sounds that I don't think can easily be faked. I know that I don't see anything past this room. Oh, what was that sound? Hey man, there's somebody walking right there, bro. Where? Derek claims to see someone off in the distance, though I personally don't see anything. Still, he turns off his flashlight and quietly walks away to avoid detection. Other than that, nothing else happens until around 3 a.m., at which point the strange sounds return, even louder this time. Board, yeah. yeah, we have a Ouija board and we have a. Oh, yo, yo. They start playing with the homemade Ouija board and think they see something move in the trees. Then they think they hear footsteps. It's hard to say if they are just being paranoid or really experiencing something paranormal since nothing special is caught on camera. Later though, when they begin chanting a spell to speak with any nearby spirits, I can definitely hear what they are talking about. Eventually, one of them gets separated from the group and is covered in red when he returns. He claims to have fallen, but something about his story sounds off. Ah, what happened? Something fell. Something falling on its own seems quite unlikely, making the claim of paranormal activity even more plausible. A large rat finds itself trapped in what looks to be the corner of a kitchen. It appears to be at the mercy of the man recording, who to be fair seems to want to cause it no harm to begin with. But as Marcus Goodiron zooms out, you can see to your horror that this is not in a kitchen at all, nor is it on the floor. I guess a large rat climbing your wall isn't exactly the happiest of endings, but it is most definitely unexpected, not to mention a good reason to give the walls a good scrub down. This doll is reputed to make you crazy, and Dima is spending three days alone with it. Let's see what happens. First, Dima introduces viewers to the doll. What do you mean? Как мне сказали, чтобы освободить ее, надо, соответственно, разбить стекло. It doesn't take long for things to unravel. At around 3 a.m., this happens. That sounded like a footstep. 
For some reason, Dima decides to visit the doll, and he soon regrets it. Stop. Stop <gasps> I mean, wouldn't you? Так, мать, давай-ка ты. А прям на меня смог, блядь, весь мурашка. Those eyes look real, are they? Soon Dima loses his pulse. Что происходит? Что происходит, блядь? Что, блядь, что происходит? Okay, that was just an accident, but is this? What are these unexplained noises? And this one? As the doll is taken over Dima's bed, its presence moves things in his room. Later, he discovers the doll's little shoe on the floor. How did it end up there? Has she been wandering around while he sleeps? One of the security cameras then moves on its own. Was it just positioned poorly? Or is this the possessed doll's work as well? I think it probably is the Maleficent spirit at play. This doll is 100% possessed, and in my opinion, its demon is now on the loose in Dima's house. He shouldn't have ever let her in. These two are having the time of their lives, but not everyone has come to the party. Posted on TikTok by Vina Saputri2, this scary video shows a pair having a grand old time swimming by a waterfall. But as the camera swings around, a creepy figure is seen sulking in the background. The mysterious figure lurks nearly out of sight along the rocks behind some overhanging brush. It looks like a young girl girl with dark hair wearing white. Why is it watching them? Is this about to crash their party? She certainly doesn't throw off any party vibes. More creepy stalker vibes in my opinion. Are there paranormal happenings recurring in your home? This YouTuber can relate. Published to YouTube by Young Boy Lloyd in March of 2020, Lloyd asks viewers for help as he believes there's a ghost in his home. He shows video proof across a series of three clips. The first part shows him watching something on TV when a plant falls over on its own accord and rolls off the entertainment center. When Lloyd moves to pick it up, it falls over again and he gets scared off by something unseen. In the next clip, he takes action, burning Sage to get rid of the ghostly presence. And as he does so, the chair at the end of the table starts moving. Lloyd doesn't notice at first, so the ghost forces him to, aggressively flinging the chair onto its side. In the last video, Lloyd says he's not going to allow a ghost to take over his house. As he's talking, a cabinet door opens behind him in the next room. A pot on the counter can be seen falling to the floor. Lloyd jumps up from his seat and tells the ghost to leave. Eve, I think my wine with him. Did the ghost listen? I don't think so. Paranormal Explorers Moxley of Moxley's Crazy Adventures. 
and Dan of Nighthawk Exploring team up to explore an abandoned house so haunted that only two well-versed paranormal investigators such as themselves could ever hope to stand a chance against it. Known only as the Invisible House, the haunted place in the UK is host to ghastly figures and ghostly apparitions that will make your skin crawl as they reach out and brush by. While exploring the second floor, they pass by a small statue kneeling in prayer. The way it faces into the room makes me think it was left there to protect against something inside, a paranormal presence that doesn't want them in there exploring the abandoned house at all. Somewhere nearby a door closes all by itself, and when you slow down the video at 6 minutes and 4 seconds, there is a half-concealed outline of a pale ghost face in the window. Not knowing that they've already caught a ghost sighting on tape, they break out the K2 meter to get supernatural consent for their paranormal investigation to continue. Are you okay with myself and Moxley being here? Can you take it to the yellow or orange? Would you be okay if myself and Moxley used a spirit box in here? Yeah. Give it a go. Yeah. Give it a go. Thank you for that. Thank you for that. A chill passes over them, and just like the legends say, the ghost hunters hear and feel a presence brush by them both. They turn around to find this heavy cabinet door, which was open when they first came in, is now closed. They open and close the cabinet to see how heavy it is, and conclude that it is too heavy to close on its own from a gentle breeze. And get this, every time they touch the cabinet door, a ghost orb angrily flies overhead. It happens three times and it's quite creepy. Tim, John, and Ben are going to explore a house in the back of the woods that is rumored to be where a clan of worshippers do all kinds of rituals. They wander around in the woods for a while until a rickety white house rises from the darkness. Inside, warnings are spray painted all across the walls in big dark letters, but they do not heed them and press on. Tim, John, and Ben take turns breaking stuff and jumping out at each other, but suddenly the three become very serious and quiet when they find a dungeon-like basement that leads straight down. The dark area smells extremely foul, and they cover their nose and mouth with their shirts to lessen the stench. The only thing down there besides them are two dolls hanging by their necks, or at least that's what they think. Suddenly, all three of them are running from what sounds like a creature with a low, throaty growl. If this noise is real, then it almost has to be the end result of a terrible ritual that none of us are brave enough to see. Bro is all a student writes after staying on the bus to capture this paranormal activity. Listen to how hard this window snaps shut and tell me how this is even possible with no one around. Afterwards, he claims to see two faces in the window, something which apparently happens often, and I actually see what he means. These are its eyes, and here its nose. The rest of its face is hidden from view because it's peeking in. Same with the window beside it. There's a YouTube channel called The Zeroeth Folio of Shakespeare that posts nothing but weird Shakespearean quotes in a low, menacing voice. <laughs> Somebody has been posting dozens of these videos for over a year now despite most of them having only 5 views or less. I don't really understand what these videos could possibly mean individually or when put together. All I know is that it's almost like whoever is uploading these videos is on some kind of mysterious mission with a hidden purpose that I doubt is benign. Anyway, here's where things get really weird. The right side of these videos has always shown static for the past year, but at the end of their latest video posted four months ago, the static suddenly clears and this scary event happens. I also noticed how the thumbnail for this video looks different than the others, further adding to the mystery. 
All of the other thumbnails show the same image of static, but this newest one clearly shows a strange looking man wearing what appears to be clothing from another time period. Take a look at the channel and let me know if you think this is just a clever gimmick or some kind of nefarious creation loaded with hidden messages. When one door opens, it probably means a ghost is in the building. Redditor Newski Got Distrapped shares this video, which was captured at their work at 5am. The Redditor says that the place is about 75 years old, people have passed away in it, and strange things have occurred to them inside. Feelings that they're being watched and unexplained pennies turning up everywhere. The bar was empty at the time. Watch the bottom right. There's a glass door you see opening. They also believe that this object you see flying out of there is an orb. Although I wouldn't put too much stock into orbs as they're more often than not dust or insects, the door opening and shelf shattering does seem mysterious to me. Can you think of any logical explanation? On the other side of this fence is nothing but miles of vast wilderness. Exactly what lurks beyond this point is anyone's guess, but apparently something huge and hostile has been regularly coming into the backyard of a YouTuber named Big Dill for some reason, possibly in search of its next meal. But what happens is this creature comes up against these, this fence and it jumps this fence. And it was standing, we think, right in this where I'm standing right now. Literally two seconds later, this wild and hungry howl fills the night. I'm getting this footage, and did you just hear that? Now here's the part that's really unsettling. You probably didn't see it at first, but a pair of glowing eyes are without a doubt watching him from the trees. Maybe they were the very eyes of the beast itself, as it changes his way while making that hideous, inhuman scream. Jose Cruz is stuck at home in Arlington, Virginia, so he decides to take a random video of the rain. Only when looking at the video much later does he notice the ghost of a girl twisting in the wind for a brief moment before fading away. From what I understand, falling rain is one of the most difficult things to fake in terms of video editing, which makes me think the ghost sighting is real. The more times you look at it, the more it looks like she really does stop, consider him for a moment, and then goes on her way. I mean, wind or not, rain shouldn't move like that unless something is physically under it. Korean YouTube channel Phantom Hearts Fox and his team are exploring a haunted dormitory in this scary video. In one hallway, he gets an active reading on his K2 meter. <laughs> As they continue through the dormitory, they get another active reading on their EMF meter. In another room, something unseen makes a sound to their right. <laughs> <laughs> Did a spirit just brush past him? It's difficult to say, but the crew does seem to me to be feeling some bad energy in this dorm. If I were them, I'd trust my gut. Theme parks are supposed to be fun and games, not the thing nightmares are made of. This Mr. Blobby theme park is a whole other story. Chugging along in the 90s, you may or may not recall this yellow and pink blob. Crinkly Bottom was Noel Edmonds' series of theme parks that popped up in England during the show's success, with one in Somerset, another in the north of England, and others scattered around the country, none of which lasted long. Why? Well, watch this video and you'll see. Not only were people unimpressed with the park's puppet shows, 
and Blobby's kitschy catchphrase is, Blobby's done blobbing home is like walking through an uncanny nightmare. The seriously disturbing park, marketed as a children's attraction, is more like a scene from a horror film. With distorted audio, Blobby welcomes you, but who wants to be welcomed to this chilling park? The theme of this park must have been, we will haunt your dreams. Footage from this frightening theme park will leave you reeling, and not in a good way. This is what happens when a ghost is envious, published to YouTube by Morgan Sancombe in April of 2016. A girl sets up a camera in her bedroom to perform a short song, but it seems she isn't alone. In the background as she's singing, her closed door slowly opens and something sitting on her dresser topples over, or is it thrown by an envious ghost trying to sabotage her performance? The girl turns around in surprise, backing away before jumping over to shut the door again. Was this just a coincidence, a random series of perfectly logical events, or do we have a real paranormal encounter on our hands? This video very quickly turns into one of the worst fears that I think most people have, your parents walking in on you doing something embarrassing. This is believed to be a Twitch streamer from Russia, but I was unable to track down who this streamer is. If you know, let me know in the comments. But anyways, she's in the middle of lip syncing a Japanese song for the viewers watching her Twitch stream. That's when she hears her door opening. She quickly jumps to turn the music off, clearly embarrassed he's just walked into her stream. Apparently, this is her stepdad, and they have a short conversation before she starts closing the door on him. It's always been a fear of mine to get walked in on while singing along to my favorite songs, but I can only imagine how worse it would be to have it happen while in a cosplay outfit and live streaming. It might be time to buy a lock. This Saudi Arabian YouTuber decided to do some urban exploring in 2018. The property looks long abandoned, and they are forced to explore only by flashlight. Despite the creepy feel of the place from the very start, the men brave it out and continue exploring. It starts to appear as though the men are being watched, and on multiple occasions they check their surroundings to make sure they are all alone. It turns out their instincts are correct, as they capture what they claim is a witch. It definitely appears to be someone dressed in all black robes, with their face fully covered. I believe someone might have actually been living on the property, and they wanted to scare them away. Or do you think the YouTuber was correct, and this was an actual witch? Everyone knows you must drive defensively when you're on a motorcycle. After all, there's nothing between you and the pavement, except whatever you're wearing, and a helmet. But sometimes, no matter how defensively you drive, you learn how little others value your life. Delta394 learned that in July of 2017, when he published a video of his encounter with a crazy driver. In the video description, he explained, Guy in the blue Fiat Panda tries running into me while cutting across lanes. I wasn't having any of it, decided I would confront him in the supermarket car park and he did confront the man, all of which was caught on camera. Do you know how to use lanes, you prick? It's not you. It's not you. You smash my bloody thing. Why don't you see where you're going? Why don't you go in the right place? I'm on the I'm left. In the right it's place. The man claims the biker smashed his mirror, while the biker claims he almost ran him over. As it turns out, the Fiat driver didn't like how the biker was driving, frequently slowing down and speeding up again. The biker then questioned what was more important, the man's mirror or his life. Most in the comments section seemed to agree that the Fiat man deserved every bit of that confrontation. Who is in the wrong here? What do you think? Are there spirits at play here or just pranksters? Published in November of 2018, the security camera footage shows some suspicious activity in this man's driveway. A man is seen walking to his driveway's gate at around 1 in the morning. As he opens the gate and steps out, a chair that is sitting about 10 feet away flies off the handle, making the man jump out of there. Another dude is seen racing out of the driveway as well. Another 
this short clip shows the man organizing and stacking items in a storage room. As he does, the door suddenly closes. Again, he jumps up, clearly scared. Are these strange events paranormal? Or is some jokester playing pranks on this innocent person? I'm siding with the paranormal option for this one. It might be time to call an exorcist. YouTubers The Proper People published this exploration of an abandoned psychiatric hospital in April of this year, 2018. The psych hospital was built in the 1800s for poor folks who couldn't afford healthcare and has been abandoned for more than two decades. The place certainly looks old. Whole pieces of wallpaper are chipping from the walls. Below the hospital are tunnels connecting to the surrounding buildings. The crew didn't enter the tunnels because unlike the psychiatric hospital, those buildings are still in use, but they did come upon a fallout shelter. Many of the rooms they come across are empty. Some are locked, making the crew and their viewers curious about what's inside. But perhaps the most curious rooms are those with piles of the Sykes Hospital supplies and equipment. Chairs, tables, walkers, buckets, mattresses all thrown together in one place. They even encounter an old green tub with an adjacent seat used to lift disabled patients in for bathing. And further on, they arrive at half of an elevator car. For some reason, there's something so unsettling about an open elevator shaft and an elevator not where it's supposed to be, Michael says. It gives you a bad feeling. Well, Michael, this whole place gives us a bad feeling, so I'm going to stay as far away from that hospital as possible. The University of Texas once lost a hundred human brains. The brains, which were acquired in the 80s for scientific research, sat in jars of formaldehyde in the basement for over 30 years. Decades later, the school decides to move them to a different part of campus, only to find most of them were missing. What's even more bizarre is that all of these brains were donated from an old Texas asylum. Among them was the brain of Charles Whitman who in 1966 ended the lives of a dozen university students. After taking aim from a tower, no one knows what happened to them for sure, but according to rumors, students were taking them every year to use as props for Halloween parties. The main point is that the minds of over a hundred inmates have gone missing, and no one knows what is currently being done with them. A London YouTuber named King of Bongo is trying to explore the Queen's Hotel while staying one step ahead of a security guard. Down one of the dirty halls is a formation that King of Bongo suspects could be the Grim Reaper himself. It looks like it's sitting down facing him with its skeletal hands folded patiently across its lap. But here at 2 minutes and 14 seconds, I feel like it could be an illustration caused by three objects stacked together, maybe chairs. He hurries down three flights of steps and is searching for an exit when he hears this mystery noise coming from a few rooms over. You and I both heard something near, but a quick glance reveals only these empty rooms. King of Bongos finally meets up with his friend and explains that they are being followed. They hear footsteps that are very light and moving at a good pace towards them. Wait, there's someone else in here. There's someone else in here. Go. Just go. Just go. Here's the thing though, a security guard would probably announce themselves and ask if anyone was there. That never happened. So was it the security guard or was it whatever it was that he thought he saw down the hall? YouTuber Hype Mike heard unexplained sounds in this haunted mansion during a night he'll never forget. His cruise adventure gets off to a really rocky start. What the f was that? What was that? Do you see that? What the f was that? Dude, I don't know what Michelle, did you hit something? I don't know. I, I think hit so. something. Get, okay, okay, let's, let's, go, let's, go. let's go. They discover he did hit something, but they have no idea where it went. What is that? Oh, wait, what? what? Look, look. Wait. Yeah. Oh my. What the heck? Heck? That? Did you see it? There was something. It was like, uh, I, I couldn't get a good look at it. I just saw like a black shadow that just went right across. Like, they find that whatever it was left a trail though. Dude, this is like a lot, a lot of though. Well, keep, keep following it. Well, Wait. obviously the friends of the woods. Look at this. Oh, yeah, on the leaf. <gasps> then they hear the sound. Is somebody there? Hello? There's like a tree. Oh my. 
Like this. I'm going in the car. Yeah, let's let's go into the car right now, okay? Here's my general advice for this video. Do not watch it alone. Posted to TikTok by TV. a man is walking through a cemetery that's been around for about three decades. Fairly new for a cemetery. It's not clear if he's entered the hallway of a mausoleum, but he's in the interior of a building. The sun shines into the corridor periodically, and you can hear a mysterious wailing in the distance. Sí se ve algo tenebroso, pero pues supongo que así son todos los. ¿Qué onda? ¿Qué es eso? As he continues down the hallway, he can see a boy at the far end of it. He calls out to him. He keeps addressing the child as he approaches him, but the child doesn't respond. Niño. Niño, ¿quién eres? Then suddenly, the cameraman turns around and starts running in the opposite direction while reciting a prayer. <laughs> Seems like an overreaction, but look closer. As many in the comments note, the child does not look like a normal child at all. Some think it looks like a demon, either growing bigger or rising from the ground. When it turns, the cameraman realizes it isn't a normal child. Some in the comments are suggesting that the figure is a duende, which is a folkloric humanoid figure, like a gnome. Is it truly a duende or some other mischievous creature? Or are we thinking too positively? And it truly is a demon. A YouTuber named Eleven Makeda and their friends are camping in the backyard when they completely lose control of their bonfire. First, they try to put out the blaze with a simple garden hose. When that doesn't work, they try to smother the fire with dirt using shovels. Meanwhile, the flames grow taller and hotter as the fire spreads outwards, threatening to reach a house that's only a short distance away. Also, if it reaches the cornfield behind them, then the fire could quickly cover acres of land. The short five minute video ends before we get a chance to see what happens next. Hopefully, they did the right thing and called for firefighters to put an end to the backyard inferno. Otherwise, if they were too afraid of getting in trouble and continued to try and contain it themselves, then it might very have cost somebody their home. A paranormal YouTuber named CHZA Chad is in search of some real ghost sightings, so he goes exploring an abandoned hospital in Perrysburg, New York called the J.N. Adams Memorial Hospital. This old hospital is said to be haunted by patients from the early 1900s who on occasion will still show up for treatment in the hallway as a ghost. Chad soon separates from his team of fellow ghost hunters to explore the hospital on his own. The hospital is actually a collection of abandoned buildings and Chad is determined to investigate as many of them as he can to discover which places are the scariest and most haunted of all. In another room he finds and mistakenly handles a red container with a biohazard symbol. He doesn't look to see what's inside, but touching it at all probably wasn't a good idea. That's not his only concern. It's not long before he suspects there is a ghost in the hallway with him as well. Really? Whoa. I was about to say I'm walking down this creepy hallway, but there's a stairway right here. Whoa. What was that? Right here. Whoa. Creepy noises coming from both ends of the hallway leave him unsure where to turn next. He wanders across a room with a single chair inside of a pentagram, like a ritual of some kind has been performed here, one that we're probably better off not knowing about. It's a weird enough discovery to make him rejoin his group, who by this point are as creeped out as he is. While exploring a different floor, they find this bird helplessly flying wall to wall, even though there is an open window for it to go through. Maybe that's why the bird is flying around like that. He probably knows something crazy happened right there. It could be protecting a nest, but something feels wrong in this room, and they take the bird's confusion as a sign of negative paranormal energy in the air. They chose to investigate this area with high-tech paranormal equipment designed to translate ghost voices into speech using special voice recognition software. First, it says the name Paul, followed by two more words. A yeah. Up here. Yo, is anything appearing on the screen right now? Where? Watch the screen. Any blobs again? 
pure human is what Paul the ghost says. I wonder if it's actually trying to say not a peer, but rather up here, as in above them, possibly referring to the space where the bird was trying to go. Next, they place a backpack on the ground and invite Paul the ghost to interact with it. At 22 minutes and 40 seconds, their paranormal equipment registers ghost sightings all around the object, and at 22 minutes and 55 seconds, the ghost kicks its bare foot off the backpack and disappears. One of the ghost hunters named Herm stands in front of the camera to verify that it is working correctly. We're using electronics to see you. Whoa, that thing shot out of you. It's like he's inside you, I think. Their equipment has no problem detecting the ghost hunter as well, as a solid black paranormal orb that shoots out of the space where he's standing. It's like he's inside you, I think, says the ghost hunter named Kasha. Tell me if you agree that this could be a possession caught on tape. Not much else happens for another minute or so, and they feel the paranormal energy start to fade from this cursed room. They catch one last ghost sighting in the corner of the room by the door, evidence that it's no longer interested in them in parting ways. But when Chad looks up, his camera refuses to go into focus, almost as if Paul the ghost is in the hallway, watching them for one last time. This short clip from a paranormal investigation leaves me wanting more. As the device is going off, Danny from Nighthawks Paranormal asks the spirit politely to back off. Can you step away, please? Thank you. And it listens. Then the spirit politely asks him to back off. If you want me to leave... Okay, no problem. Thank you. Thank you. This intriguing exchange has me convinced that ghosts really are trying to communicate with us, and it has me convinced to watch the full investigation. While exploring a spooky abandoned cellar, these ghost hunters face something more fearsome than ghosts. Published by Scary Labs in August of 2021, this scary video shows the crew investigating several dark bricked rooms. The cameraman scans one room that appears to be empty, then he turns to his colleague, who is directing her camera toward another room, asking the spirits to come forward. When the spirits refuse to answer, the cameraman turns back toward the previously empty room, only it's not empty anymore. <coughs> black cloak, black hair, pale skin. What was this thing? I'm guessing Professor Snape, but the crew didn't stick around long enough to find out. This hauntingly scary video was taken during a ceremony in the desert of Saudi Arabia. Look closely or you'll miss the scary stuff. First, pay attention to how the flames bend without any wind. Any gust of wind blowing the flames this hard should be kicking up sand and moving the branches of the nearby bush, but it's not. Then, after 16 seconds, a bizarre phantom apparition begins to materialize in the circled area. What's beyond creepy is this scary face that appears at 18 seconds and never fully goes away. A still image taken at 19 seconds reveals a floating face with a big nose and strong chin. Freaky, right? Or maybe it's just a lens flare from the flames. Still, the timing is a little bit too coincidental to not at least briefly consider the paranormal. This ghost is hungry. Published by Pilot Error Podcast in December of 2020, this woman was finally able to capture on camera what had apparently been happening for a while. After hearing a noise in the kitchen, she grabs her camera and waits. That's when she sees this. The cupboard is opening just a little bit at first, then it opens a little wider, and then, instead of running away from the spirit, this woman runs toward it. And once in the kitchen, things get worse. Is this poltergeist just inviting everyone to dinner? And will you attend? Should be an interesting enough meal. A 
man is enjoying the park in Salford, England, when this unsightly tree gives him pause. Everything looks completely normal from this angle, but then when you get just a bit closer, a grinning symmetrical face appears. This tree does face playground equipment, which provides somewhat of an explanation as to how this all started. I'm guessing some kids must have stripped some loose bark off out of curiosity, which is natural enough, but this gruesome one-eyed expression that settled in its place is anything but. This ghost hunter crosses into haunted territory with only his faith and a camera. Caught on tape is a giant unknown creature that does some really scary things. 11 minutes and 28 seconds is when they notice the shine of its eyes. Lying on the roof is something much larger than them. A mysterious figure peeks from the window. Watchful eyes retreat down the roof as they approach. Footsteps turn them around, but nothing's there, and when they turn back, the figure is in the window again, along with the creature above. What is this bizarre thing looking at them from the doorway? And is it paranormal? I think it could be. These ghost hunters become the hunted in this haunted ghost encounter. Published by Wo Cuyahoga Official in September of 2021, Assad and crew hunt for ghosts in this paranormal show, and they don't come up empty-handed. They start to hear noises in this haunted place, and then see a dark figure lurking just out of sight as they continue in their search. A pile of bricks is pushed from one of the walls. Something is later rattling the doorway. And as they get closer, they hear a growl from behind them. After hearing something behind them again, one of the crew gets taken. When they race into the room, no one is there, but they see something flicker past while peering through a hole in the wall of the room. They later come across more substantial evidence that something has been stalking them all along. A figure is standing in one of the structure's many rooms. They back out and the figure is gone, but another appears, this one in a pink robe. They pursue her and later find another figure. Standing in the opposite direction, only this time the figure doesn't remain still. She moves backwards towards them in a terrifying manner. Would you survive this unholy terror, or would it be enough to scare you real good? I'd be getting out of that place as quickly as possible. Two friends are wandering across a field to check out an old abandoned house that they are both excited about. I'm not sure. But I think they found this house at night and wanted to come back during the day. Anyway, they find that the house is mostly intact aside from a collapsing roof and decaying debris everywhere. They are just having a casual conversation when suddenly their camera chances upon something totally out of the ordinary. The glass, the oven, the oven door. Where? In the middle of the living room. <laughs> The roof is off. Dolphins. Holy sh! Dude! Oh my! Oh, go! Go! A completely black figure glides across the doorway from above. What's especially strange is that every square inch of this figure is pitch black even though they are in a room lit by sunlight. It is turned to the side with its head down, but absolutely no facial features are visible. 
The two friends both turn and run away from the shadowy inhabitant at full speed. I guess they could have a third person with them and just be playing a prank, but their reaction seems a little too genuine for me to think that it is fake. Similarly, if this was just a homeless person upstairs, then they probably would have shouted something like, get out, instead of silently walking across the doorway. Many people think that this is a shadow person, and I think that's a definite possibility. While driving down a macabre road, searching for souls, this paranormal team found one. Published by Thiago Furacao in May of 2022, a mysterious man made a cameo in their search, and it was a memorable one. Using a spirit box, Thiago tries to communicate with the paranormal while they drive down the creepy road between cornfields. When he asks if the spirit is there, he is answered. Dela Thaís. But creepier than even the spirit is when they encounter this, a mysterious man is standing frozen in the road ahead and he doesn't move. Thiago gets out of the vehicle to approach him. When he does, the man changes his posture. Thiago! Thiago races back to the car, and when the camera turns back to the road, the mysterious man has disappeared. Was this man the spirit they were communicating with? Or is there even more to fear with the living? Is this phantom nurse here to heal you or to hurt you? Published by Luan Mendez in May of 2020, Luan and his crew are exploring an abandoned hospital whose staff hasn't really left. Wandering the halls, they seem to turn down one hallway where they seem to spot something skulking in the darkness. The thing must have disappeared, so they move on, continuing in their search, and that's when they see her, Nurse Ratchet. They race away as fast as they can, and one of the crew falls unexpectedly to the ground. It almost looks like he was clotheslined by something invisible. The crew manages to make it out of the hospital alive, and that's no thanks to the creepy phantom nurse. This mini golf course is haunted by so many golfers who didn't win their round. Published to YouTube by Urban Ghosts Urban Exploration in April of 2021, Joe, Rob, and Kate are up for a course in fear as they explore this abandoned mini golf in the middle of a lightning storm. The whole thing kicks off with nothing but whispers. In the beginning, as they explore a room that's been torn apart, you can hear this whispering in the background. As they continue to explore, there's another voice that sounds like it says, that's creepy as they come across a stuffed teddy bear. <laughs> Joe notes that the teddy bear wasn't here when he last visited the place. As they move glass off the teddy a short while later, two distinct knocks are heard. Despite this, they continue exploring. At this point in a darkened room, two lights shine clearly above Joe's head, but these could either be a passing vehicle's headlights shining through a window, or they might be from one of the crew's devices. At the same time, it sounds like a faint voice is heard. Either road noise or somebody potentially walking around out there and I think it's a little whisper. As Joe is talking a short while later, something or someone is heard speaking over him. Necrophonic app, I'm gonna turn. The voice is loud but muddled and the crew seems to have heard it coming from outside the room. They decide to explore the ceiling air shaft. For a moment, you can hear weird laughter. Who's up there? Later, while filming inside the same air shaft, a distinct boom is heard which causes Kate to let out a terrifying scream. This, of course, scares the entire crew. Later, whispers are heard in the air shaft again. <coughs> then they film up inside the air shaft. This is when you can hear a muffled female voice. <coughs> 
It sounds like it's saying move on back shortly after. Another knocking sound. The crew believes there's a spirit up in the air shaft. They are listening deeply. And at this point, it sounds like a woman singing, but they don't appear to hear her on sight. YouTuber Stella Gomez also notes that the sunray has been moved against the wall at the end of the video. It wasn't there to begin with, so unless the crew moved it, then who did? Being as they usually don't disturb anything, its movement is all the more disturbing. Is the lady in the air shaft toying around with them? It's not often you see two trains so close on the same track occurring near Smith Falls in Ontario, Canada in 1992. The footage shows a passenger train that needed to hit the emergency brakes while en route to Toronto. The passenger train appears to be traveling at a fairly fast speed when a stationary freight train comes into view down the track. As the commuter has little time to slow, the engineer stumbles out of the locomotive cab. In the meantime, the freighter back up slowly while the commuter train has managed to break hard enough to come to a complete stop right in the nick of time. The approach left no more than six feet between the locomotives, a close call that makes little to no sense as to why or how it happened. Cassie is with Danny Dorito and Ali H to find evidence of a spirit that they think is haunting not just this house, but most of the surrounding forest as well. They come across a ritual that someone left behind for some reason, possibly in a hurry. They figure out how to complete it and hear a noise shortly after reciting these ancient words, which I'm hoping someone who happens to practice magic might be able to recognize and tell us more. Rolf? Nyap, Ro. Oh they decide to leave everything behind and are well on their way back home when something ahead interrupts their hike. Hello? Holy f you saw that, right? You saw at four minutes, I can see what appears to be a normal pair of white tennis shoes that kind of looks out of place, so I'm not exactly convinced that this is real. This video is simply called Path of the Banshee. A man is walking all by himself down a bleak path with rows of trees reaching out for him from both sides. He spots something in the distance and freezes. Some people claim that the scream is fake and edited in. Even so, plenty of people say that they can see a figure in white robes in the distance. Do you see anything like that when he zooms in? Also, if you can identify if that scream is from a video game or a movie or something, then please let me know. Maybe together we can prove if this video is fake or real once and for all. Stalking should never be taken lightly, as is made clear by this next video, published by Terry TV in December of 2020. A streamer named Ellie Gato, dressed in costume, is walking through the streets of a Japanese city at night. Fun, right? Well, it was until this guy showed up. The stalker captured on camera is not even trying to hide his intent. Walking alongside the streamer with a sword known as a katana, he smiles as Ellie Gato laughs uncomfortably. Why is this my following us? Why is he following us? Uh, let's go this way. Oh god. When she and her friend double around to try and lose him, the man follows. Ellie Gato says they should go find her friend's husband. As she continues to try and lose the man, her laughter turns to real fear and concern. She even starts running as she attempts to call someone on the phone. She is brought to tears as the man gives chase. Fear Tales explains that a bystander noticed what was going on and pointed the girls to a hospital for protection. <laughs> Can I help us go to police? He is seen in the video running alongside Ellie Gato and serving as a witness to the man's predatory behavior. Later, the stalker is seen being led by authorities into a station. 
Although this scenario seemingly started as a joke, it quickly took a terrifying turn. Thankfully, this bystander didn't just stand by. A YouTuber named Guarov Zone is examining a notoriously haunted road in New Delhi, India. They idle their car and wait in darkness for a while to see what happens next. I was starting to think the video could be fake until I noticed one part in particular. <laughs> What appears to be two yellowish eyes briefly stare at them before disappearing. I was thinking that this could just be a reflection of the car's brake lights. But if that was the case, then the light should be red, not yellow. I also don't know what would catch the light's reflection, since they are on a desolate road in the middle of nowhere. The strange eyes, if that's what they were, disappear and never return. Not even when the cameraman zooms in for a closer look. A TikToker named Melody Zaragoza1121 has an experience she will never forget on a flight as she later describes simply as being not fun. All of the monitors go haywire and flash on and off in strange patterns, bathing the cabin in a green alien-like glow. At one point, they all turn on at once, almost as if there is some sort of deeper communication efforts at play. But without any further evidence, I would just as soon attribute this experience to faulty wiring, which, now that I think about it, is probably one of the few instances where a ghost could be arguably preferable. Todd T captures a large humanoid-looking figure going down his neighbor's chimney. He's too far away to pick up any discernible details, but the creature looks to be far too large to be a bird or pretty much any other animal. Whatever this is, it looks to be the size of a human. The mysterious creature stuffs itself down the chimney in less than a minute, at which point I'm guessing it roams around the interior of the home for whatever it can find. What happened to Todd's neighbor is anyone's guess. Warning, if you buy this flat, you'll have an unwanted roommate. Published by Seeker of Ghosts in April of 2022, the paranormal investigator is trying to communicate with the passed on through a spirit box when this happens. <laughs> the spirit then sends him a clear message, but he doesn't listen. So the poltergeist tries to warn him further. The lights continue to flicker as the spirit box goes haywire. <laughs> then he asks what the spirit's name is to no avail. Rather than answer, the spirit gets angrier. He apparently doesn't like anyone prying into his personal life. He even comes to visit. <laughs> Did this paranormal investigator overstay his welcome? It seems he was never welcome here at all. Delbert Latham and his son are on a roller coaster with nowhere to go when his son's restraints fail and he falls all the way to the floorboards. Listen and you'll hear him say my seatbelt in a scared voice. <laughs> Delbert squeezes his child's waist and now an arm is the only thing keeping his son from flying off. He is squeezing as tight as he can and manages to keep his grip for the last major fall. No. I got you. Hey, you're fine. I think most parents would be flipping out, and I'm amazed how calm Delbert remains the entire time, especially considering how bad this could have gone. If the description for this video is to be believed, then the operator was aware of the faulty seatbelt and was letting people on board anyway, meaning his son was not the only one to experience this terrifying ride. This video was posted on my subreddit by someone in Palo Alto, California. For well over a minute, these large lights jump all around the sky, changing directions seemingly at random without logic or reason. 
After a while, the mysterious light slowly lowered to the ground, almost as if landing somewhere unseen. Yo, what is that? Oh my gosh. They're like moving around. Look at that. What is that? This landing maneuver strongly suggests that this is some kind of controlled aircraft, though exactly what it's being controlled by is anyone's guess. The person who posted this video claims to be a pilot and has absolutely no idea what this could be. I thought this could be an experiment with flares, but they say military flares are much smaller and move differently. Whatever it was, I would be particularly worried because, according to his estimations, the strange lights apparently landed about 20 miles from his house. Published in May of 2019, Erwin Saunders captures these bite-sized creatures on camera in the mossy woods of the UK. Is this a new fairy species? The little critter is seen carefully making its way through the woods. nearly blending in with his surroundings. But this isn't the scariest part. When Erwin enters this narrow cave, he gets a bit of a surprise. Something is slithering in the darkness. It doesn't quite look like a snake, but it's making its way toward Erwin, who quickly backs out of the cave in shock. Right, there's something there. Okay, some... Erwin says it's a worm of European mythology, which is described as a huge limbless wingless dragon or sea serpent. Did this nature guide just encounter two mythological creatures in the forest? These magical surroundings sure seem like the right habitat for them. Redditor asserted skirted motion-activated cameras detected motion in the middle of the night, but it isn't something I've ever seen before. Keep an eye on the bottom of the garage door. Here it is again, more slowly. Something appears to slip beneath the garage door, but it looks like a shadow. My guess would be that this is an unknown shadow entity. The way the shadow reaches out is even tentacle-like. What do you think it is? One of the most fearsome visions of a shadow person ever caught on camera. This clip will have any skeptic questioning things. Originally published by Ghosts of Carmel, Maine, this scary video was captured by its haunted homeowner. As the homeowner enters a bedroom, a full shadow figure is seen sitting on the bed, outlined by the light from the window. The man panics and steps out of the room for a moment. A split second later when he returns, the figure has vanished. Are you convinced of the existence of shadow figures? I am. Hungry for a midnight snack? This video will get you over your nighttime hunger. Published to YouTube in August of 2020, Paranormal Nightmares explains, My husband got up to grab a bowl of cereal, and we had the security cam recording in our kitchen because earlier in the day a cupboard opened on its own. We decided to record overnight, but this happened and it scared him. In the video, the dude is nonchalantly making himself a bowl of cereal as mentioned, but when he goes to grab the milk from the fridge, the cereal box moves clear across the counter on its own. Surprised, the man brushes it off, but as he pours his milk, the box moves slightly, and when he returns to the fridge, it slides clear across the counter again, finally falling to the floor. Needless to say, this guy takes this as his cue to book it out of the kitchen. Many YouTubers advise this poor haunted couple to move, while others are more worried about whether or not the guy eventually got his cereal. Because you know, priorities. While exploring a haunted location in Orlando, Redditor Callie1939 captured this on SLS video. Watch closely. Later, as they walked past that same area, Beep. 
Many in the comments think the Kinect is simply picking up two gravestones, which is why it jumped to the next two gravestones, making it look like the figure was walking away from them. I tend to agree, but it is curious that the EM detector went off in the same location. What do you think? What is hiding in this deep dark cave in Romania? This crew of adventure seekers is about to find out. Watch closely in the darkness. <laughs> What is that lump? It looks like an animal sleeping. The guys appear scared of the mysterious creature, and they start to make their way out of the cave. Their camera goes berserk. Did they just escape from the cave creature of Romania Borsec? Personally, I think this was just a trick of the light, but I still get the chills from this clip. I'm staying far away from caves either way. A YouTuber named The Modern Mombi is sipping her coffee while pumping gas while she notices someone watching her get into her car. She lets it slide until she sees him looking at her again. But yeah, he keeps peeping us. She is making a video probably in the hopes that it will make him too ashamed to continue. But he looks straight at her and seems to smirk. It's a weird and creepy expression that he has no excuse to keep making if they are strangers. Maybe he thinks he recognizes her, but if that were the case, staring at her instead of saying hello is rude and suspicious to say the least. Then again, maybe the camera is the only thing keeping him from being more intrusive. He eventually gets in the car and drives away. That's when she realizes she's in her work uniform and hopes he won't be staring at her sometime soon at her job. Former President Barack Obama once had a Secret Service agent protecting him who has since become the center of many eerie rumors and unsettling theories found online. This video shows the agent standing a few rows into a crowd during one of Obama's speeches. The agent is very broad, but his head and neck are far narrower and more angular than his wide shoulders or body. He also repeats the same set of odd movements over and over again. The agent behind him does not, but it's this far shot that has raised the most questions. The nose, jaw, and chin all appear to be the same length. The brow is set far back and the eyes are weighed down by the neckline, while the crown of the head and the occipital bone are disproportionately enlarged. I think it's hard to say for sure in both videos because of the distance. If we get a third video that was closer and more detailed, then a more accurate determination could be made. However, I don't believe this mysterious agent was ever spotted again. Can you feel the evil in this house of satanic worship? YouTuber Chris L. Luna can. She and Laura Rivas enter to see what evil it holds. While touring the place, they find a bottle of black magic liquid inside. As they continue, something appears to confront Chris L. Laura sprays what I assume is an antidote on her, and they continue on. In another room, they spot a portal drawn on the wall and hear laughter. Later, they again hear laughter. <laughs> Noting that all the windows are closed, they find a lifeless bird on the floor. Look 
Is this a remnant of a satanic ritual performed here? I think it is, and if that's the case, they should get out pronto. This offering looks fresh. A YouTuber named Jimmy Maya is in the middle of a windswept field when he finds the absolute last thing you'd ever want to discover while metal detecting. Okay, well, next target is a bomb. Um, I can scratch that one off the bucket list. Wow, that thing is heavy. Jimmy does not seem afraid to handle the heavy object, which makes me think that maybe this was a dud. He says that there was once an active base near this location. Jimmy observes a random string of characters on the side of the object. If anyone can use this information to identify what kind of device this was, then I would really like to know. Maybe together we can figure out how much actual danger Jimmy Maya was in at the time. In this scary video, Ghost Adventures of Cornwall receives some haunting EVPs from the devil. The first EVP is cryptic. The second set of EVPs don't sound to me quite what the team is hearing, particularly the name Mark, which is one of the crew members' names. I can distinguish found something, and they're aliens from the EVP, but I think they're a stretch. The last EVP, however, is chilling. What? Does say the devil will play? Do you think the devil is playing? I personally wouldn't run the risk of playing this game. Found her toy doll in a disturbing state, so she contacted YouTuber Luan Mendez to help her. Shared by YouTube channel Blah Blah, this video is trending in the Arabic speaking YouTube community. After these guys come to take a look, they find this cellar, they hear something banging on the lid. So they climb in to investigate. The doll of horror is inside, but after stepping away from the horror doll for a minute, this happens. Ah, boneca tá do meu jeito. Ai, ai! Cadê a boneca? Cadê a boneca, Pia? Que que foi? Cadê a boneca? Cadê a boneca? Tá aqui agora! Boa, ela tava ali, irmão, ó. Boa! It disappears. Where did the doll go? Was it possessed by something? Or did some slick soul do this to her? I have a theory. I think the doll was being used as a voodoo doll. That still doesn't explain where it disappeared to. But have no fear. The horror doll always returns. Whoa. Although you and I were probably not hoping for an encore for this one, thank you so much for getting me to 50,000 subscribers here on my Clips channel. If you want to support, please press that subscribe button. Let's get to 60,000 subscribers next. Thank you.